So uh, today is a sad day. It's finally over. I don't know if you've been reading the news, but yesterday, Friday, the last of the Challengers and Chargers Hemi powered vehicles by Stellantis or Mopar or Chrysler Dodge or however you call them has gone out of the assembly plant the last one ever it was a Demon 170 and that Brampton plant where they make Chargers and Challengers is closed so shout out and prayers to all the employees of the Brampton plant that build this amazing vehicles one of them we're riding right now a Hellcat for so many years that they built these vehicles so that all of us car enthusiasts and Mopar fanatics have the car we love but it's certainly a sad day, not only for us enthusiasts, but for those employees who probably some of them are losing their jobs. I hope not all of them, and I hope all of them will get rehired as they are closing that plant and retooling it for building some boring vehicles. So, I was born in the 70s, and I was not able to participate in those glory days of Chrysler when they were making amazing muscle cars. I'm just blessed that I was able to afford one, a Scat Pack, a Jeep SRT, a Durango RT, and this Hellcat to be able to participate in the Mopar mania. And I'm certainly a Mopar person, car enthusiast, and I'm just so blessed to be able to say that I've owned these vehicles and I've enjoyed them. And for those of you who want these vehicles and have the resources to do so, I would say get them now. Uh, it's because just like any of those 70s vehicle, the 70 Charger Challenger, I mean, you, you see them in Mecham, how expensive they are now. I'm not saying this Hellcat is gonna be that expensive, but it, they're just gonna be hard to get because the factory's not making them. So it's something that you have to really seriously think about. As for me, I'm making this video because I just want to give a shout out to those employees and for all the Mopar enthusiasts out there like me who feel sad about what happened yesterday and thinking that today and starting Monday they're no longer building any of these cars. Uh, so certainly it sucks for us who love these cars. To me, this car means a lot. Why? Because ever since I was a kid, I wanted a fun car. I've always wanted a Charger. That's why when the Charger came back in 2005, I was fortunate enough to get a uh, Charger SXT. It's a V6 version, it was red. I mean, it first came out and this were, there, there, were, there was a lot of hype behind it uh, because they haven't, making, they haven't been making Chargers for a while. So when that came out, that was fantastic. A couple years later, I was able to get a Chrysler 300, right? So that was fantastic. And a couple years down the road, I was able to get myself a Dodge Durango, right? The Dodge Durango was fantastic. We enjoyed that car too. It was a blacked up RT. You'll see a lot of videos in, in this channel about it. In fact, my most viewed videos are with the, with the Charger, uh, with the Dodge Durango. It, ha it has a lot of views because I did a lot of things to it, you know, muffler delete, 
this and that uh, but I also used it to tow a boat and that boat served us well and it definitely you know did a lot of use because it towed our boat well we did a lot of launch in in difficult marinas and launch boat launches and that boat re and that Durango really served its purpose as far as after a few years after that uh, I traded that Durango for a Jeep SRT which was a fantastic vehicle uh, we enjoyed that that car so much and you know and the year before that I was able to get myself into a scat pack so I had my fair share of Mopars, so to speak, and I really enjoyed all of them. That's why I wanted to make this video because this means a lot to me, um, to be able to enjoy these vehicles and share it with all of you guys. And by the way, all these cars, except the, the 2006 Charger and 2007 Chrysler 300. I don't have videos of those because YouTube did not exist and I didn't realize I can do YouTube. Anyways, but all these vehicles, the Durango, the Jeep SRT, the Scat Pack, this Hellcat, they're all in the channels. You can check out all those old videos. It might suck because everything was pretty bad. My camera was not good, but you know, I don't have a big channel, but I appreciate all the views and the support you guys afforded me uh, because really the purpose of this channel is to, sh to share the experience that's why I'm making this video is to share the experience with all the cars I have owned especially the Mopar cars uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm truly blessed that I'm able to say that I've tried almost all of them right um, and it's fantastic vehicles I've never had any serious issues with any of the cars I've owned from Dodge and to think that I have owned a lot of them that's pretty fantastic and this Hellcat is gonna be with me for as long as I can figure out how to keep this right keep this running and and keep this safe because as you know Hellcats are stolen quite a lot that's why I, I don't drive this often because I just can't leave them sitting somewhere. In fact, my wife went to Kroger to get some groceries. I don't go inside because I just want to sit in the car. Not only to film, but I want to make sure that, you know, I watch it. I mean, I got some safety systems in this car, but like I said, the thing that bothers me the most is they're not making the cars anymore and it's stolen a lot. So for owners like me and for you guys who own these cars, it sucks. It, it's, it's really sad that you want to keep these cars and enjoy them for as long as you can. But you're always worried that one day some goon, some lowlife is going to come just steal it. Steal it out of a parking lot, you're eating at a restaurant, in, a, in your garage, in your driveway. It's something that's kind of really takes the enjoyment of owning these vehicles so to know that yesterday they closed the plant and that they're, they're building they're not building that anymore it it sucks in two ways it, it, it it's sad that you can no longer get a new one if you lost one uh, from the factory I mean you can buy you know ones in the lot that are available but you know you don't have that option this car was ordered directly from the factory we picked the options we wanted for the cars and the features we wanted you can't do that anymore and then this low lives come along and steal your you know the car you love and then what you can't really replace it it's it's almost priceless to the to the people like me I mean you guys are gonna laugh or probably gonna have some comments that I feel like this is a priceless possession but that's how I feel about this because I ordered this from the factory so if I lose it I can't really replace it because there's nothing like it 
you know even even the Mulroney sheet the, the build sheet has our names on it it's pretty fantastic let's go around walk inside and talk some more so look at this I mean it's not the prettiest vehicle but it's mine and I like it and the fact of the matter is they're not making them anymore brand new so you can order it the way you can't order it the way I did it in 2021 which certainly sucks for all of us who own these cars I mean if you own one comment below how you feel about it because I certainly I am sad a little bit a little bit upset that you know I will have a hard time trying to keep this vehicle I want to do my best to protect it and keep it but every time you're out you're kind of looking out looking out somebody's gonna come and steal it when you're parked at a restaurant or, 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 or anywhere you go and you know what other worry I have is you know they just might pull up at you at gunpoint yes I certainly love the vehicle but I'm not gonna ch exchange my life and my family's life and safety just to keep this vehicle oh they can certainly pull up on you and just at gunpoint and, and steal this car that's crazy that's crazy to think that that could happen so certainly for us who love Mopars who enjoy these vehicles it's certainly a sad day that's why I want to keep this vehicle as, as long as I can and YouTube is one way to document my ownership experience while sharing it with you guys so I know one day we'll look back on these days that we had Hellcats, Scat Packs, Jeep SRTs, Durango SRT, Durango Hellcats, Trackhawks, TRXs. We're gonna look back and say, man, those were the glory days. That's that's just like back in the 70s, 60s and 70s when we have these cars. I'm not keeping this car as a collector. I'm keeping this car because I love this car. I like to drive it. I like to enjoy it. My family enjoys it. It's pretty fantastic to own this car. And I, that's why I highly suggest that if you decide to have one of these, do whatever you can. Work as hard as you can. Hey, even if you have to take a second job, if you weren't really want to get one, do that. Because I guarantee you, I guarantee that you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy the ownership experience and you're going to love it. So I want to make sure I have this video just to make sure that I share my thoughts and feelings about yesterday, what happened at the Brampton plant and the end of an incredible era of this incredible vehicles, the Chargers and the Challengers. They are fantastic. I'm happy I own it and I'm happy that you guys support me and I'm happy that I can share with you all my experience with these cars that I've owned. Thank you for your support. Comment below all your thoughts and I'll see you next time. Okay, take care and Merry Christmas. See you soon. Bye for now.